Welcome to Poland Daily History with me, Nicholas Richardson. The 17th of September, 1939, the day when the Soviet Union invaded Poland. Remember, only 16 days following the German invasion of Poland on the 1st of September, 1939. This pursuant to a secret clause in the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. And to discuss the implications of this, which is very close to the anniversary of that event, I'm delighted to be joined by Adam Starzynski. Adam, welcome back. Thank you for having me. And look, this was, came as, sorry, it sounds almost trite to say, but a rather nasty surprise for Poland. Absolutely, a stab in the back. Uh, naturally, most people today would assume that Poland and the Soviet Union did not have very friendly relations in the lead-up to the Second World War, which is absolutely true, uh, considering that Poland and Soviet Russia had fought a war in 1920, the so-called Polish-Bolshevik War, uh, for, uh, well, initially the, the Soviet-Russian uh, ambitions were very high. They were hoping for spreading their revolution far into Western Europe. Poland was trying to um, create a federation under the modern father of the Polish state, uh, Józef Piłsudski, who wanted to uh, create a new version of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, this time not as a single state, but rather as a confederation or potentially even a federation, which technically would have been one state in that case, but uh, definitely one with, uh, if, if it would have been a confederation, then there would have been far-reaching autonomy for, uh, for uh, Belarus, for Ukraine. Uh, but uh, this is not something that naturally the Soviets wanted. Considering that that war ended fairly well for Poland, which managed to fend off the the, the Soviet invader by, uh, or rather in front of Warsaw, and then pushed them quite far back, the Soviets felt that they had been uh, dealt a severe blow. Uh, so relations, relations weren't good, especially during the 1920s. However, it must be stated that in 1932, Poland and the Soviet Union signed a non-aggression treaty. Uh, today, many of the propagandists in Russia like to uh, mention that Poland also signed a non-aggression treaty with um, Nazi Germany in two, two years later in 1934, saying that uh, this proves that this was a normal procedure and that the Molotov-Ribbentrop uh, Pact of 1939 was nothing out of the ordinary and that Poland and other countries had done similar things. Uh, however, they uh, failed, f failed to mention that uh, there was no secret protocol in uh, neither the Polish Nazi German uh, Treaty of Non-Aggression nor in the Polish Soviet Treaty of Non-Aggression. Uh, there were no joint plans uh, of wars of aggression against other, other states. Um, so the Polish-Soviet um, Pact of Non-Aggression or Treaty of Non-Aggression um, was, was to last 10 years. Uh, it was supposed to last to 1942 and uh, then there, there would have been an extension uh, negotiated. So when the Soviet Union did in fact attack Poland in 1939, as you mentioned previously, uh, 16 days after the, the German invasion, it was in breach of uh, of this treaty that they had with Poland. So uh, the Polish uh, accusation of the Soviets stabbing the Poles in the back uh, absolutely hold ground. Uh, when we look at some of the propaganda that the Soviets used in order to justify their invasion, we can see a lot of similarities to the rhetoric they had. Uh, with the invasion, last year's invasion of Ukraine. Absolutely. Uh, accusing uh, Poland at that time, uh, or Ukraine today, of not being a real state, of lacking history, of uh, um, being a so-called seasonal state, uh, which uh, can appear on the map from time to time. This was uh, a concept that the, the Germans had uh, initially um, invented, but uh, it was quickly adapted by the and Soviet the Union as well. The is that Poland's history is, is far, as, as, a, as mm. a state, is far longer than the uh, history of, of, of Russia or, or, or well, the Soviet Union, then mm. Russia, and before that, of course, the state of Muscovy. Poland yes. had a history far. Mm. 
and the uh, same can older. be and, the, and same, the same can be said of Ukraine, of course, <laughs> but also of, of Germany, uh, which um, which technically was created in the 19th century, so and not not that old of a state, but for for the Germans and for the Soviets, these were <clears throat> inconvenient truths that uh, they would rather not pay attention to.